Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. If you're new to, the, to these videos, you can subscribe for more videos like this or other lifestyle videos. Today we are talking about coffee. More specifically, we're talking about caffeine. Why is caffeine important to us? It's been a major part of our culture in trading goods for centuries, whether it was shipped across oceans or from kings to other kings as, like, as gifts. Whether it's tea or coffee, we've been drinking it for hundreds of years and it made us feel good, but is it good for our health? Here are a few examples of why it is good, and then I'll give you a few examples of the negative side effects. So coffee and tea, they are rated amongst the healthiest drinks in first world countries. Of course, the third world countries, <laughs> you can drink it and be very healthy as well. But for us in the first world countries, instead of drinking sodas, we can have caffeine, and it's really good for our health because it improves the amount of antioxidants going in our bloodstream to help prevent cancer. It'll improve our cholesterol levels, and it'll improve your heart health for a stronger beating heart and your cardiovascular system. It'll help prevent diabetes by dumping insulin in your bloodstream, which will also help you prevent uh, gaining weight. So you have to not eat sugar with your coffee or don't have a donut with it. It'll boost your mood because of the serotonin and dopamine levels in your brain, and it'll improve your digestion. You drink the coffee, have it black, half an hour later, you'll have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> So there's many ways to prepare coffee, including cakes, little puddings, and desserts. We just love our caffeine so much, we put it in almost everything. But hold on, what's the catch? I did say there are some negative side effects. If you drink too much coffee, so more than two cups a day, it'll have a negative effect. It's just like if you take too much vitamins, it's bad for you. If you eat any one food, it's bad for you. So don't have too much coffee, otherwise you're going to have like an overdose, right? Uh, if you have too much coffee, it'll, it'll make your immune system weaker, it'll make you more prone to certain illnesses or diseases, and you'll have drawbacks, like if you don't have enough caffeine, you're going to have, or you have too much caffeine, you're going to have a lot of headaches, and you'll just all around feel exhausted. because you're going to be drinking so much coffee, your brain won't be able to keep up with the demand of chemicals for the feel of good chemicals, and you're just going to crash. So don't have too much coffee. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you subscribe and that you want to watch other kinds of videos like this. If you have any comments, please leave it in the section below. Thank you for watching.